release strategy uh, we have uh, release code and uh, the question is like uh, how to transport release strategy to production environment when you see our release procedure uh, the things which we maintain for example uh, let me go to the release procedure configuration the release group and the release code the values the basic release strategy configuration everything will be transported through transport request because when you do the configuration in the development system that will be saved in a transport request and that will be moved to the next systems like quality and production but there is a data where you maintain the classification details that details will not be saved in the transport request we have to maintain in each system let me take any uh, one example which we maintain in the cl20n for example release processor with po the characteristic class all those things we say and this is release group codes everything will be through transport request it will be moved to one system to another system but after coming to this release strategies and uh, even this whatever you do group strategy everything will be in the transport request which will be moved from development to quality quality to production but only there is a one option called this is classification details where we will assign our uh, order type or order value purchasing group this data won't be saved in the transport request that data we maintain with the transaction code slash n cl 20n cl20n and uh, by giving the 032 and for example the release group ak and uh, strategy is k2 we go there see this data will be maintained with cl20n in each landscape development uh, quality and production it is not transportable we can directly maintain in the production system by using cl20n transaction code other than that the release code creation groups and uh, status creation class assignment everything will be done through transport request this will be maintained manually if any business is asking like in any interview or any sometimes business is asking like i want to maintain in my development system only it should go to production at that point of time the cl20n data which you are maintaining here that can be through idoc we have a intermediate document that concept is there right with that idoc concept we can transfer the data of cl20n the classification which we are maintaining it can be through ale idoc setup the development to quality and the quality to production once you maintain in development through idoc it can be automatically moved to quality and production that can be achieved the cl20n data other than that entire data will be through transport request the import procurement and the standard uh, procurement for example we will take it as a context like you are buying a material from other country and you are buying the material from your own country